Hey Pirates, I'm Elijah. And I'm Gwen. We're back with some important announcements. Congratulations to Mock Trial who have been crushing it in their competitions. They are undefeated in competition this season and competed against Slow High School in the county final last night. This is the first time in Morro Bay Mock Trial history that the team has advanced to the semifinal and final round. Wow, that's amazing. I gotta remember some of those names. I definitely want a lawyer on my side who has an undefeated state title Wake up, seniors. Keep working on those local scholarship applications. They are due on March 10th by 4. If you need help filling out the application, Ms. Slayard is going to be helping out with the workshop on March 7th from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the College and Career Center in the office. On a similar note, FAFSA and the California DREAM Act applications got to be turned in on March 2nd. I know we have a lot of free time on our hands, but this is just another friendly reminder to get those turned in and get all that free, free money. And we all like free money, especially when it comes from the government. And after getting all that money, there is a way we can all give back. Help the Homeless is a drop-off where we can give those in need hygiene items, non-perishable food items, and small items of clothing. The drop-off is until February 25th, and if you want to give, go to the front office with all your stuff. Okay, you all better give, give, give. I want to see that bin filled to the brim. I know we have an oversized shirt or something like that hanging in our closet just collecting dust, or 10 bucks you can spend on cans of food. And if you don't give... Well, you're going to have to wait. There is no school this Monday because it's President's Day. Enjoy another three-day weekend and be ready to return to school on Tuesday, February 22nd. Three-day weekends are also a great time to remember to take care of yourself and your mental health. To get you started, here are some reminders of why you are awesome. Thank you guys for that video on mental health. You know what's got my mental health all pumped up? Grad night. And this is our first grad night since quarantine. And it's to Universal Studios, no less. I'm pretty excited. How about you? I'm not going. What? Why? I'm not a senior. OK, well, for all those cool seniors out there who want to go, it's $150, and you have to get your money and permission slip submitted by the 28th of this month. Some scholarships and financial aid will be available, but, but it's a limited time, so sign up real fast. Where can they sign up? Um, you guys got to check your school email or Parent Square, and there's going to be a link with all the information. Simply just follow the directions, and you'll be ready to celebrate that you are going to Universal Studios. Let's go. Valentine's Day was on Monday, and our very own Eric Torres hit the campus last week to get your thoughts. Here's the latest episode of Eric on the Street. Yo! I'm Eric Torres. Welcome to my segment with Valentine's questions. So, what are your plans for Valentine's? Make waffles. Ooh, that sounds really, really yummy. Oh, there's a car. <laughs> Pam, Pam, come here. What? What are your plans for Valentine's Day? Nothing. So sad. Mr. Furby, can I ask you a question? You could ask me a question. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? My wife and I usually come up with some dessert that we know the other one likes and we give it to each other. Do you make it yourself? No, no, we usually purchase it, but uh, 
Yeah, so she's got this ice cream right now that she really likes. So, and get some of that. What kind of dessert do you like? I like uh, banana cream pie. Ooh, that's a that's a great. No, no. Get over here. Get over here, Talon. Talon. We love you. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? Oh, <laughs> that's a good question. It's a rough topic. Huh? Probably cry. Most cry? likely. Yeah, I'll probably do the same. Jordan, 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 get. Jordan, come here. Come here. Come here. I didn't know if I was going to get come in the way of the shoot, alright? I thought this was like for a. Uh, no, no. Why, well, why wouldn't we want you? You're beautiful. Okay, so. You're beautiful too. Thank you so much. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? Um, Possibly ask somebody out. Ooh. That could be one of you. That could be one of you. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? My plans for Valentine's Day? Um, I. Well, we're not actually doing Valentine's Day that day, but the next weekend we're going to be going somewhere. No, I mean like your own individual plans. Mama. My own individual plans? Yes. Do you have a Valentine's? You're going to have oh, a nice dinner. We're going to have a nice dinner, probably a steak dinner with shrimp. Ooh. Well, let's go. That sounds delicious. <laughs> Before we head over to sports, here's an announcement from FFA about the wonderful events they have planned for FFA week next week. FFA week is next week. Start off, we have Kiss a Cow on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we have our Farm Olympics, where a team of four can compete for the gold. And on Thursday, we have our Teacher Appreciation Barbecue to show all of our teachers our love. And on Friday, to wrap it up, we have our Red, White, and Blue Day and our Barn Dance later that evening. Everybody dance now! Everybody dance now! So join the Moro Bay FFA next week and can't wait to see you there. Hey Pirates, I'm Jade and let's get caught up on sports. Boys basketball won their final game of the season, which was also their senior night, with a final score of 45 to 32. Girls basketball finished their regular season on Friday, beating Atascadero 54 to 13 and brought home the 2022 Ocean League Championships. Unfortunately, the girls were knocked out of the CIF competition on Wednesday night, losing to Arroyo Grande High School with a final score of 35 to 27. Congratulations on an amazing season, girls. Kicking it off to girls soccer, the girls won their game February 11th against Mission Prep and played Ridgeview on Tuesday in their first round of CIF with a final score of three to two and brought home a win. Boys soccer, played their first round of CAF on Wednesday. The boys played an incredible game, but sadly fell to Delano with a final score of four to three. Congratulations on an incredible season. Congratulations to boys and girls wrestling. This weekend, the boys team completed the weekend at the CIF championship, finishing with seven master qualifiers and an MVP. Speaking of MVP, Wesley Wilson was 4-0 on Friday with four first period pins and on his way to a CIF championship and an MVP award. Meanwhile, the girls have four wrestlers and one alternate qualifier at CIF regionals for the Masters Championship this coming weekend. That's all I have for you today, Pirates. Now back to Gwen and Elijah. Well, that's all we have for you this week, Moore Bay. Enjoy your three-day weekend.